Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a Christmas card with you, and um, I thought I would try something a little bit different. I had seen a couple different cards um, with the stocking builder punch, and so I thought, well, I would try to create um, a scene on the front of my card. So we're going to use Garden Green cardstock, and um, that's that measures four and a quarter by eleven and you score it at five and a half um this is supposed to be like wallpaper and it's with the pocket full of posies designer series paper it measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then to do like um a carpet i am using the spice cake designer series paper from the holiday mini and that measures to be um, one and a half by four and one eighth, and for my mantle, I'm using um, the Frostwood Lodge Designer Series paper from the Holiday Mini, and it measures one and a half by four and one eighth. Um, then I'm for the stockings. I'm using the red and the silver um, glimmer paper, and I absolutely love it. And then I'm using, on the inside of my card, the Whisper White measures 4 by 5 and a quarter. This piece measures 2 by 3. The gr Garden Green is 2 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter. Um, I'm using the Garden Green ink, a 1 inch square punch, the Word Window punch, st um, stocking builder punch, a sponge, and some different pieces of designer series paper I'm using the um, Merry Christmas sentiment from the Loads of Love stamp set and some dimensionals. To create the presents that I placed inside the stocking, um, I just used the Word Window Punch and with some different designer series paper. And then on one end it was I left it rounded since it wouldn't be seen. And the other I just um, cut a straight edge so it looked like the gifts were just kind of stacked down inside the stocking. Um, and I placed dimensionals on the back so that it's kind of raised up when it is going to be hung on the mantle. I used the one inch square punch to create different size um, squares and rectangles for out of different designer series paper to represent packages that I'm going to place on the floor and kind of going up along the wall there um, in between the stockings. To decide where to put the stockings so that they look like they're just hanging there, um, I placed one stocking down and then peeled off the backing of the dimensionals and placed um, this stocking down. So now this the backing is off of this one, so I'm just going to place it sort of even with the other one. So it looks like they're just hanging there on the mantle. I went ahead and adhered these two um, pieces of designer series paper down. I'm just going to stack these two on top of this one and then place this one here so it looks like a stack of Christmas gifts um, just waiting to be opened. And here we have 
our presents all stacked up. The Loads of Love stamp set is actually a wood mount stamp set, but I chose to remove this sentiment and um, use it with a clear block. This is C, the clear block C from Stampin' Up! So, um, I will go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the Whisper White. Okay, and then I like to just sponge the edges. I think sponging the edges in the same color of ink of the sentiment and then again with the cardstock base. Um, Ties it in really nice and makes the card look finished. So just adhere this to our garden green cardstock. We'll place this inside of our card. I'm spacing it a little more towards the top so that I have room to write our name and um, even a little message if we wanted to, if I wanted to. So here's our finished card. Um, it's a really cute little Christmas scene. Um, and I hope that has inspired you to try to make one. Um, if you do, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to see it. Um, and I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.